Hey everybody, so I was just about to hop in the bathroom and wash this crazy mess of hair and I realized I didn't do an update about almost a month now. I um, recolored my hair with the Bell Color, but I used a different color. I used, um, it's called 403 Dark Mocha Brown. Looks like that. And can you read? I might be able to read the color. And I really like this. This is very, very close to my own hair color. So if I am to dye my entire hair, I would use I would use this again. Um, because it wasn't as it didn't smell as bad as the other one I tried, and I think it's because it's darker, so it has less of the peroxide or whatever in it. So it didn't like totally stink me out of the bathroom when I was putting it on. And um, it just gave a really nice, rich, deep brown, dark brown color, very much like my own hair. So I really, really like that. The only downside to this, now that I've used a couple of them, is it just does not do anything for gray hair, which kind of defeats the purpose of why I need it, because I have a few gray hairs here, and one here, and then I think one over here. Like, literally, like, I could probably count on two hands how many hairs I have. And I've had them for years, but, um, yeah. So, I guess I'm just gonna have, like, sprigs of gray hair for a while. This really was just to, I was getting roots from the last thing, so I had, like, this really reddish-brown hair. Like, it was so noticeable, but when I put this on, it, um kind of melded in the two shades so it doesn't look crazy and it looks so much like my own hair that now as it grows out it won't look crazy like it won't look so you know dark roots with whatever was going on there so um now I'm messing up my hair the review on that but the thing I was doing before I started coloring my hair at all and then I got out of because I had gotten it originally this particular brand I had gotten on sale for like, I want to say $3.99 or $4.99, they kept having great sales and I picked it up and realized that I could use this, this particular brand I'll talk about in a minute, um, all over my um, little hairs and reuse it over and over again as opposed to just doing one application and really damaging all of my hair. And so, it is the Clairol Nice and Easy Root Touch-Up. And it looks like that, and I have it in dark brown. And let's see, it'll show you. And um, how I use this is because I only have like literally little sections. Like this, there's a few like right in the front, which is what prompted me to start doing it because you know it just looks really weird to have really dark hair and then just have like these little sprigs of um, gray hair. It just there's not enough to like make a line or anything so it just looks like I've lint in my hair or something weird and so with this and I'm gonna open it so you can see I hope I can open it I didn't realize it would be taped but that's probably a good thing <clears throat> okay so the thing with this is, is that you get your color cream and you get the little activator stuff, color activator stuff. They also give you this lovely tool, just like a little plastic container. So what I do is, and I did this before, this was like my first attempt at dyeing my hair and it worked really well until I had to throw it out. So I put just a bit of this and a bit of this and I mix it in the container. So literally maybe a, like a pea-sized amount of this and a pea-sized amount of this. And I mix it together, obviously not with my hands. I usually either have gloves or they do have this you can use to mix. But this thing, I don't, I like to get my fingers in there and saturate it. So I don't use this particular tool. But they do come with, it does come with gloves. So you use the gloves and you kind of mix, I mixed it in there. And then I just apply it on there, on the, parts that I need because I have to kind of part it and do that and then I let that sit and then I rinse it out now the thing is you can't wash your hair after you dye 
because the shampoo and all the stuff can kind of strip it. How I go around that is that I wash my hair, my, all my hair, and I, dr and I dry it. Then I go back and I, like, I usually wait. Like, if I do it in the morning, then at night I go back and do the whole routine that I just talked about. Put it on my hair. Let it sit for, I don't know, it's like 10 minutes or something. It's really fast. Rinse that out and then dry it to match the rest of my hair. And then I will style it with ironing or what it, flat ironing or whatever I do. It covers the gray really well. And I hadn't had any problems at all. I just thought that if I was coloring it, I would do my whole head. But I'm really noticing that I don't, well, I don't really want to damage my hair. I have a lot of products that help from it getting like overly damaged and processed looking but um i prefer just not to damage it to begin with so this is a much gentler way to cover up that little bit of gray that i have and it's also really cost effective because this i finally caught some kind of deal and this was 5.99 and so 5.99 and i will probably use this this packet for you know i usually just use it until I think it's probably old and I should just throw it out. So I might use this um, once a month or so for, I don't know, four to six months. And then I just throw it out and get a new one because um, I don't know how long it lasts. I mean, they both have seat, like, they both have lids to them. So, you know, you're probably sealing it so it's not um, going dry or anything. I really recommend this if you just have, if you are just starting to go gray and um, at any age for that matter, and you don't want to like totally process your hair, I would really consider this as an option. I know that they actually promote this as something that you use like in between your coloring, like when you go get your hair colored so that it covers the roots, but I don't use it like that at all. I just use it to cover that gray and it works really well. I really like this brand. Um, I'm not really sure. Well, I saw someone use this particular kind, so that's why I used it, but I probably should have just stayed with Nice and Easy or Clairol because um, this has covered the gray and that did not. Like, this, this, like, I mean, it's not gray, but it, like, it's really light, like, copper almost strand so it's it's not really covering it it looks really weird but um, so that's my tip that's my um kind of slash reviews ramples on hair dye and i hope that this helped anyone they have a lot of different colors in this particular um root touch up they have black dark brown lots of different browns lots of, and then they have blondes as well if you happen to be blonde and um so I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, obviously, you have to use the instructions on this that tell you to do the, the allergy test on yourself so that you know that you're not allergic to it or you're not going to break out or anything before you start any hair dye. Even if it's even if you color your hair, one of you know one hair dye is not the same as the other. So you should always always be cautious with that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, and I hope this helped everyone, and I need to wash his hair because it's driving me crazy and it's gross. So, um, I'll talk to you later, and, uh, take care. Bye.